Hello, welcome, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Kaz, this time bringing you Episode 2, The Finals. Today, we find out who is going to be the overall winner of Episode 2. Is it going to be Reverend Jelly Beans or Panzernoff? Well, let's go ahead and zoom on down to the Watchtower and the Round Table and see who will be the winner today. So here we are at the start of the finals for episode two between the Gax and the Spitefuls sent in by Panzernoff and Reverend Jellybeans, respectively. Both are respected builders, but only one plane can walk away as the winner. So let's go ahead and get these planes into the air and see which one gets everything in its favor today. Both of these aircraft have proven themselves to be quite nimble. And uh, in order to enhance the uh, epicness of the experience, we are in fact fighting at night under a nice full moon with the galaxy splitting between these two. And just like that, the competition and the finals starts. Looks like we have the Spitefuls firing their AIM-9s first. PL-10s coming in from the Gax, but missing. Are we going to see hits? No, misses on the AIM-9s. AFID heat-seeking missiles being launched. Another miss. And another PL-10. And an AIM-9. Oh my goodness. We have, we have a confirmed kill on a Spiteful. By a Gax missile! Jeez! It's been unexpected so far. The other Spiteful, however, uh, doesn't appear to be fully dead. Now it is! Excellent! So, now it's a 2v1, where the Spitefuls are vicious little dogfighters. And just like that, the... I... I don't know what to say, ladies and gentlemen. The Gax just obliterated the Spitefuls for round one. Let's get into round two. And we're back at the beginning of round two for a, a massive surprise. The Gax managing to take it quite quickly from the Spitefuls. Can the Spitefuls win? Let's find out! I definitely was not expecting that, and I don't think anybody was expecting that to happen. It's awfully rare for the Spitefuls to be struck by missiles, especially considering how small they are, but just goes to show anything's possible. At the very least, even if the Spiteful are to win, this means we get three rounds of epic dogfights. And I think nobody, uh, nobody can lose with that. And once again, the Spitefuls are the first ones to get off missiles again, firing their AIM-9s. They look like they're getting close. Oh no, that's bad. Spiteful taking itself out with one of its own missiles. And a Spiteful being taken out by a missile. Or at least heavily da- no, definitely damaged. This Gak now trying to move in. Tanking a missile to the face and still flying. Those 30 millimeters though are looking to make short work of the Gak. The center engine has been taken out. Just 
just like that. However, the Spitefuls are looking to turn this into a very, very close match. Just as fast as the first, the Spitefuls take round two. Heading into round three, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, after two lightning-fast rounds, we are here for round three between these two craft. Who will win? Who will lose? Let's find out. Let's hope that the Gax don't kill themselves with a missile. So far they've had fairly consistent uh, striking potential on their missiles. If they can keep that up and not kill themselves, they might yet clinch victory. And I don't think that's a victory anybody would see coming. Consensus is that the Spitefuls are going to win. And as much as I am a fan of Rev, I really would like to see the Gax win. And we have a flop of a missile fire. Two missed shots. AIM 9's being fired. PL 10's being fired at nothing. AIM 9's and another AIM 9. PL 10's being launched. It's a missile palooza out there. Gax getting into gun range first, lighting up. Flares being dropped. I can't believe that the Gax have had these things on the def We have gunfire, but is it coming from a- It's coming from a Gak! Spiteful flipping out. Wait a minute, we have a huge amount of lag, and a Spiteful has been taken out by what? I don't know. Probably a missile. It's now a two-on-one. That Spiteful is just rolling through the air. This could be the biggest upset in the history of sports, ladies and gentlemen. Big hits on the Spiteful. Is it down? It's spinning angrily and wildly. But it has no control, no engine. And now it's dead. Nothing left but a single piece of debris. Ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed the biggest upset in the history of sports. The GAC 7B sent in by Panzernoff is your champion aircraft for episode two. Tune in next time when we start episode three and a whole new round of fights. In the meantime, I've been Kaz. I look forward to seeing what you all have in store for me next time on Fighter Jet Roundtable Tournament. Good night, everybody. <laughs>